friends, and welcome again to another Echocalypse video! So, two new units have been added to the game library. If you want to go and check them, they are in the cases. We'll be talking about them both. This video will be talking about Kuri, and the other video, will, uh, the next video will be talking about Dorothy. Two units, one support, one carry. Both of them are amazing. I read their skills, I read their kit, and I will be explaining them and uh, telling you which is better for you if you want to build uh, some lineups. First of all, we have a new code from the devs. Uh, the first code, uh, I will. there's a code, there's a old code which is Mori211 I think I didn't claim it yet so I claimed it now and the other code is Pika Gaming ESC yep this is the code I think and yep that's it this is a limited code so the faster that you are claiming this the better for you because it will uh, stop being there soon this is the one for Mori and this is the one for me thank you devs for providing these codes amazing shenanigans yeah let's go and talk first of all about the first unit that i want to talk about and it's not in the game right now it's in the game files it is in the library which is curie and her also her arms are there and she's in the leisure and but it's not for her it's for somebody else but she's there to continue it so it gives the buff to the other unit which is not yet released in the game i guess and look at her art absolutely amazing art i love these kind of art it's a little bit uh edgy if you're gonna say something like that uh probably she's gonna have uh, another outfit or skin that you can equip to her absolutely amazing let's go and talk about her first first of all let's talk about the artifice so at one star to seven stars what she gains she's a carry unit she's a dps strong dps unit so she's an aoe damage dealer specifically to three units and she hits hard so she get hit rate on one star bonus damage at two stars crit rate crit strength at three and four stars and she gets pierce at 30 uh 35 percent at five stars she gets block reduction and damage bonus when she gets to six and seven stars this is great for a unit that is a carry that you want to let her have hit rate and ha have pierce and block reduction so she goes through blocks absolutely good damage bonus crit rate and crit damage so you can build her nicely however you want with the uh, i strongly recommend to build her on hit rate you want her to hit as much as possible because she applies burn we'll be talking about that so she links with regina and set increases her attack by 25 percent link with ferentia and uh, increases her uh, resistance by 80 percent so against magic units she will have more resistance increases that attack if you have shiu and if you have the new unit dorothy we'll be talking about dorothy soon in the next video she increases her HP and she becomes more tanky. So her main skills, if you unlock her, if you get her to one star, uh, four stars and six stars, she will get, first of all, uh, resistance uh, by 10%. It means magical damage hurt her less. Physical damage is what hurt her and counter her. She gains attack, then 10% attack, and this is what she gets for everybody else. Now let's talk about her skills. So her skills are, are so nice, so good. If you have Rayon, if you're one of the players that have Rayon and you have Shiyu and you're playing the basic burn teams from the start of the game and you're still playing that team, she's a perfect addition for your flame team. You will melt people. The burn will be melting people. Two rounds, I think three or four rounds, the enemy can survive if they can't cleanse the burn and you will wipe them immediately with Rayon and with her. And this will make Shiyu also more consistent and make her a little bit higher on the tier list if you want to play her as a main tank so her main skill so she cooks faster than uh fire deals 64 percent physical damage to three random enemies this is very low 64 percent but apply flammable explosive on hit for two rounds so she need to hit not miss so flammable explosive when taking burn damage there's a 15 percent chance to take the same amount of damage so if they take the 64 percent there's a 15 percent to take the same uh, amount and when you get her to four stars it goes up to 30%, so 30%. It's not a big deal, it's not consistent, we want consistency, not RNG, but if you're playing the full fire team and if you max her, she will be a little bit more consistent and she will be actually very good to be played. Now let's talk about her ultimate or her super or her basic uh, uh, big skill. Here comes the cake. Well, you have the cake, my lady. Okay. Yeah, I had to get this out out of me. Guys, if you look at her art, you understand what I'm talking about here. So deals 179% physical damage, 
to three random enemies. Random, so whatever you put her on the lineup, it doesn't matter, she's gonna hit random enemies. For each stack of burn on the targets, inflict additional true damage equal to 5% of their max HP, of the enemy max HP, but the condition, the damage caps at 150% of Corey's own attack. It means you need to build her more on attack, it means the 5% will be better on the enemies, so it will hit the entire 5% of their max HP. And of course, when you buff her on stars and get her more stars up, she will be even dealing more true damage. And as I said in the in the beginning of the game when I covered other units that have true damage, true damage in this game is king and will let you dominate. So the more that you build her on uh, attack, the more that she will provide that 5%, it will grow more and more at 7 stars. So the additional damage caps at 500% of her own attack. It means the full 15% of their max HP will be burned. 100%, there was no problem. But I think even if you build her on 6 stars or 4 stars or 5 stars, she will still deliver the total amount of max HP of the target. Because her attack will grow so much. Because the attack is better than the HP. And now at 7 stars, for each enemy affected by burn curry deals, extra true damage equal to 100% of her attack. So she doesn't only deals attack. I think it happens on 3 stars. On 3 stars, yeah, for every enemy affected by burn, she deals extra 30% damage. That... The main point that you need to build her is at 3 stars, you can stop at 3 stars. This 30% of her attack equal the true damage on the enemies, plus the 9% of their max HP have been burned is absolutely crazy because it's true damage. It means they cannot ignore that. It means you're dealing almost 10% of their HP removed and then dealing 30% true damage to her attack. Absolutely crazy. Of course, it goes to 100% of her attack through damage additionally. And at 7 stars additionally, this attack comes with an additional 50% crit rate and 50% crit damage. So you will do the basic initial damage, which is the physical, the 253% uh, even more. That would hit hard. So keep that in mind. If you build her to 7 stars and play her with Rayon, you're absolutely gonna melt everybody. Rayon gets crit rate and crit damage by having burn, more burn on enemies. She applies burn and she gets it in the end of the battle by her 7 stars. Absolutely. A great DPS unit, especially if you're playing Fire Comp. Trust me, Fire Comp will absolutely annihilate teams. This is a great addition to the Fire Team, to the Burn Team, actually. So, let's read her Raccoon Agent, which is her passive. Her passive is not tricky, it's a little bit good, but it's very, let's say, RNG based. So, at the start of the first three rounds, it means every single round for the first three rounds, Kuri randomly summons one Furry. To aid, uh, for, uh, uh, to aid her for in the entire battle, they will stay for the entire battle. When summoned, each furry restores 2 rage to curry, inflicting burn on 3 random enemies for 3 rounds. Which is absolutely amazing, so 3 enemies will get burned. So she will, like Wino, Wino uh, her passive, she starts the battle, she apply burn on enemies, she apply burn on enemies, and she restores 2 rage for every uh, uh, furry that she has. To, the, uh, to your lineup. It means whatever you, uh, you're playing against her with that deals or removes rage, she doesn't care. Your rage will be restored fully with her. So let's talk about her six. So at tier six, she randomly summons one for blah, 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 and it goes to four rage. So four rage to curry. Restores four rage to curry, not to anybody else, to curry. So she will be consistent on inflicting her ultimate over and over and over. Inflicting bird to three random enemies for three rounds. When Furry is summoned for the first time, boost the damage reduction of all allies by 30% for 2 rounds. This is absolutely insane. It means at the start of the battle, you're gonna have this for 2 rounds on your entire allies. 30% you'll take less damage from everything else. Except through damage, of course, it goes through that. So, the 3 types of Furry that she has. She will have Furry Robin Hood. So it will increase 10% crit rate and crit damage. And you might have 2 Furry uh, Robin Hood. You might have 1. You might have 1 of everything. So it gives you crit rate and crit damage by 10% if it was Robin Hood. Zoro, it will uh, uh, let you deal more damage to cases that have 50% uh, HP or more. So 10% more damage for them, which is really nice actually. And Furry Mowgli, Curry skill damage increased by 10%. When cases are defeated by Curry, their remaining uh, burn damage is immediately inflicted to other cases. Which is really good actually. So it means it transfers, if, if you have the Furry Mowgli it and you killed a unit by Curry, not by anybody else, by Curry, even with her burn, if you kill that unit, the burn stacks and every burn that they have will be transferred to somebody else. It means she's an absolute bossing unit as well because burn takes a lot from the units. Unless the boss 
doesn't take damage from burn or any debuff let's go and talk about her vibration arms her vibration arms actually is good unlike dorothy i'll be talking about dorothy uh, in the next video so ice cream bomb so upon dealing damage to units with burn uh, for the first time each round increases curry attack by three percent less for three rounds and stacks up to two so you can't get it more than two times stacking so this will if you have it at level one of course at one star it will get to six percent and that's it it will be capped at six percent but if you get her up to uh level six or five stars it will be stacked up two times but it'll be six percent it means two percent twelve percent more it will be uh, of course the attack and what you need to build her is on attack so her weapon is absolutely uh, must have if you want to build her and play her on the lineup so far a good unit of course if you go to leisure center you're not gonna find her so I search all of the categories in the leisure center I think I found her somewhere here down in, in, in somewhere yes here we are curry and it it buffs brown brown will come soon hopefully in the game she's an absolute broken unit but curry here is ad added here to improve her and uh, buff brown actually not her she doesn't have a leisure center passive that you can have also dorothy i think she's up here somewhere i think or down down here is she here yes so dorothy also she doesn't have a leisure uh, uh passive the passive is for dominica and dominica will come later in the game and yeah that was it for our curry let me know about your thoughts about her are you hyped for her are you gonna summon for her i don't know who's coming first dorothy or or curry maybe curry maybe dorothy they have or their banner maybe both together are coming we talked to the devs we sent them that we don't want so much units back to back back to back to slow down on them I don't know when they're coming i'm hyped for them they look nice actually i'll be saving and summoning for them and i'll be telling you which one to summon for in the next video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't we thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace